From the Yukon, we go to Western Australia to hear from Musgrave Minerals and their managing director, Robert Ward. Robert. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. So we're dealing with Western Australia. We're in the Q region. Forward-looking statements. You've heard them. You've seen them all lot today. So it's high-grade gold. We've hit some high-grade intersections, 11 metres at 54, 20 at 20. We've got 440,000 ounces of gold. We're building that resource base. We're in an area with four operating mills very close to us. And we're looking for furthering our discovery by finding new deposits. We're working out on the clay pans, uh, the salt lakes in the area, and looking to build that resource base. So two focuses, building the resource base and also near-term development production through existing processing facilities in our region. That's where we are. We've got about an 18 million market cap. Three and a half million bucks in the bank. And you can see we're located on that great northern highway, about 700 kilometres northwest of Perth. Two operating mills within 40 kilometres of where we're sitting. We've made the new discoveries at break of day, high-grade gold. Uh, that discovery is about 200,000 ounces and growing. Um, that's part of our resource base of a total of 440. We've got about a 20-kilometre strike of belt, so we're, we've got quite a large area we're exploring. It's about 280 square kilometres and lots of opportunity. At break of day, this is a long section, looking at the length of the ore body, north to south. You can see some of the intersections there, the 30s at 10s, um, 11 at 50, as, as I mentioned, um, and a real opportunity to grow that resource. So we think we've got um, opportunity down plunge. We've drilled to about 250 metres depth and still open. Only 130 metres away, we've got the Lena deposit. Again, from surface, high-grade gold. Um, we're looking at about 150,000 ounces. Um, and within that, some high-grade components that we continue to explore below the 200 metre depth. Uh, Lena is about 1.6 kilometres of strike. So these deposits are open, open in multiple directions. As, as you can see, we're in an area where there's four operating mills around us. Um, Romilius to the south, they're currently moving uh, gold dirt from their Vivian mine about 300 kilometres away. It's 40% of their tonnage, it creates 60% of their value. Uh, West Gold's mill at Takabiana has just gone into production about two weeks ago and looking for additional feed. Met, met recoveries have been exceptional. So we're getting 96, 97% uh, total carbon in leach. Recoveries, we're getting 73 to 84% gravity component recoveries. There's nothing deleterious in the ore. We can put it through an existing plant, uh, no negative effects. The big opportunity for us is to find another great fingal. This is a two million ounce deposit, 10 grams. This really is a company maker. So we're in an analogous position. We're on a second order splay structure um, about 20 kilometres south of the Great Fingal Mine. Um, similar rock types, very similar geology, similar structural position, the same alteration, you know, classic vein, high-grade gold. We've got about a total 20 kilometres of strike, so opportunity for big systems. We've got granted mining leases, so opportunity to get into production relatively quickly. High-grade discoveries, break of day, Lena and the new numbers deposit. And we think we've got potential to really triple that resource base and get over a million ounces. We're 100% owner of the tenure. And obviously, we've got our operating mills close by. Of this 20-kilometre strike length of belt, we've only tested about 10% of that to date. So we've done a regional gravity survey, looking at the density of rocks below the surface, tracing the shear zones, which are hosting the gold, uh, to the north and in the areas under cover. There's a uh, white dashed line, you can see roughly halfway through that coloured image, the high intensity colours are representing the denser rocks. So we've been able to track those shear zones. We've got 10 targets we've developed. We're doing a big drilling program at the moment, 110 drill holes, 12,000 metres. Um, two of those targets had historical work on them, uh, very shallow drilling, just in the regolith in the clay zones, uh, and hit four metres at eight at Austin North. It's about a one kilometre long anomaly and four metres at three at West Island. Again, large-scale anomalies 
and very little drilling and no basement drilling whatsoever. Just at Lake Austin North, this is under the salt pans. So we're looking at about 40 to 50 metres of cover. Uh, you can see the gold anomalies in red. Is the mushroom-like lateral dispersion created through circulation of groundwater in the regolith and the clay zones. Uh, we're looking for the steep mineralisation that's shear zone, quartz vein hosted below that. Um, the fact that these anomalies extend for about a kilometre, 150, 200 metres wide, is very encouraging. Uh, and you can see there that four metres at eight uh, within uh, quartz, within the, the regolith, uh, is an example of what we think the basement grades are more likely to be like. So this is part of this, uh, this program we're doing at 110 holes at the moment, testing 10 targets. Um, another one of those targets, 400 metres wide, again about 500 metres long, um, and, and existing on these, uh, these rock type changes in the basement, and, and that's what we're focusing on, below that, that yellow cover. The work schedule, uh, regional sampling uh, and surveys happening all, uh, continuously throughout the year. Uh, we've got a regional structural survey hap and study happening at the moment. We're doing a big air core program, we'll follow that up with RC drilling uh, and we have development studies that we're continuing to work through to find the best way to, uh, to gain the, the best shareholder returns for the 440,000 ounces we currently have in the ground. So existing good, good existing resource, uh, high grade gold results. A uh, strong jurisdiction in Western Australia. Uh, we're drilling all the way through to the end of May and results all the way through to the end of June. Four hungry mills within close proximity uh, and we're well funded at the moment. Board and management. Um, I'm a geologist for ba by background. I spent 17 years with Western Mining and moved across to BHP before joining the, joining the junior sector. Uh, Graham, again, he's a, a strong resource background. Um, and Kelly Ross and, and John are uh, uh, through Independence and, and Barclays Bank. Um, thank you very much for your time. I do have some, a couple of slots uh, are left for, uh, for discussion. If people want to come and see me in the booth, booth 10, um, over the next day. Thank you very much.